A small college with big opportunities. At Wilmington College, a degree in agriculture means a career in agriculture. Call us or go to wilmington.edu to schedule a visit. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back to our fifth and final recap of this year's Ohio FFA State Convention. This afternoon we had the opportunity to take back to the streets and get to know some of our members a little bit better. I'm here with Mitchell Swanger who's currently slated for the District 6 President position and also the Vice President of the Ohio FFA Association. So Mitchell, how are you feeling right now in that you have about two hours until you find out the results? It's just so nerve-wracking. Like it's so excitement. I'm, I'm ready to get this whole thing started. It's just amazing to know that this possibility is actually happening. So what actually made you decide to run for state office? I know it's really time consuming, so what were your uh, motivations behind that? Well, uh, my father's an ag teacher, so it feels like I've been in this association for since I was born pretty much. Seeing all the speakers and all the motivation that other people get from this is something I've wanted to give for years and years, so this is my chance to finally give back. And I am here with J.D. Wentz from the Warren FFA chapter. All right, and what has been your favorite part so far of convention? All the creative music. The music? Were you boogieing at all? Oh, I boogied my butt off. And what are some things that you've been doing here at convention? Well, we visited the uh, state house and uh, went toward uh, Ohio State Ag Campus. How was all that? It was great. And I'm talking to um, Hafiz Mensa, and he's an exchange student from Ghana at the Green County FFA chapter. So the first thing I ask you is what it's like, what is it like being the champion? Actually it feels amazing, yeah. So um, what contest did you win? Cooperative um, education. And what all do you do in the cooperative education CDE? Actually you have to study and take this to, um, statewide test which deals with business related with agriculture. So basically, that's just what it is. One of the highlights of session five were the 701 students getting their state degree, and one of the other highlights of this evening were all of the officers who were recognized. The District 1 President, Micah Mensing, District 2, Abby Motor, District 3, Alex Miller, District 4, Caroline Miller, and District 5, Thomas Shaw. Your District 6 President, Mitchell Swaller, District 7, Abby Paul's Derek, District 8, Mandy Taylor, District 9, Matthew Heiser, District 10, Morgan Whalen. And we also elected six new constitutional offices, with State Reporter going to Andrea Cackley, State Sentinel Emily Starlin, State Secretary Natalie Miller, State Treasurer Matthew Kloffenstein, Vice, State Vice President Shelby Fuhrer, and of course, the most important, State President Sydney Snyder. Don't forget to check out Mindy's interview with newly elected State President Sydney Snyder right after her election. And for the Ohio Ag Net, we'd like to thank you for watching all of our session recaps of the 86th Annual Ohio FFA State Convention here in Columbus. For the Ohio Ag Net, I'm Michaela Kramer from Bakken's. I'm Mindy Brookhart from Waynesville Goshen. I'm Delaney Barnes from Benjamin Logan. And I'm Evan Smith from Blue Carroll FFA. This is our dream!